team coverage along the coast and in South Texas reporting on the flooding those areas have seen. In the Rio Grande Valley, families were forced to evacuate their homes and look for higher ground. We begin with the night team's Bill Barajas, who's in Westlaco, and talk to people who are trying to save what they could. Walking away was tough. Memories, possessions, even pets were left behind. San Juan Baron, like many here, was forced to leave with what she could carry. I got scared, and uh, especially my doggies. <laughs> I got two dogs. Baron was house-sitting for her son. She now has to call and tell them their home was partly flooded. They just left for New York to the... They're migrants. Just looking around, see anybody need help. We found others brave in the water, but for different reasons. This couple was walking in waist-high water to help those who couldn't help themselves. There's older people when they live in this area, and they just, they, they thought it was going to go away, but it never went away. Daniel and Serena Cuellar say they rescued six people, but one stuck out. Just helping out. I mean, earlier today, we had an air mattress, and we well, can We're do... saving, like, 85-year-old people. We found an air mattress. We went in. We rescued them. They came out, and... You guys put them on the air mattress? Yeah. And many people were left without a home today. They say they'll return in the morning to a evaluate the situation until then they'll stay with family or to shelter here in McAllen one of six throughout the valley in McAllen Bill Barajas KSAT 12 News.